looks like we are live. It says you're live. Hey guys, so we are doing the live. I'm sorry I didn't make an announcement earlier about when we were going to do this live, but um, we're here. So me and Ryan. my son, Ryan, <laughs> yes. So we're going to do a little thing tonight. A couple of things. First of all, I just want to thank everybody for all the support and all the, um, this week has really been crazy doing a lot of lives and interviews and different things. And you guys have just been uh, sending me some great messages. Hi, Michael. Good evening. Gosh, we got uh, 21 people. Dennis Cook and Cleve's Backyard Woodworking. Hey, guys. Thanks for, thanks for joining us. So um, we're not going to be a real long time here, but we do want to do a demo. So I apologize if I can't see the screen right now because it's all a blur unless I get within six uh, inches. But um, so what we're going to do, first of all, uh, Ryan made a desk sign, his first desk sign. Uh, this was from a sale from last Saturday. Uh, really liked the way it came out. Did a great job on it. So I wanted to show that. Um, so I want a, a big thank you again to Carlitos and Moosey down in uh, Patterson. Just had a great time with you guys. And then yesterday, way up in Northern California, Larry, um, spending some time with Larry uh, and had a great time with him. And then, of course, my old brother-in-law, Jim McAnally, who is a phenomenal sign carver. Anyway, just having a lot of fun doing these live things. I hope you guys are enjoying them, getting something out of them. Be sure and get back to me. Give me some feedback on that. Um, next, we want to, um, we've got some things back here. We've actually ended up picking up some slabs here north, uh, locally. We actually, a guy that lives right down the street from Ryan, uh, actually cuts his own, uh, he has a place, does he have a place up in the hills or something? Yeah, I think he, I can't remember where it was. Is it Sonora. Sonora area. Sonora. Yeah. Thank you for the help from behind the camera. That's My right. daughter-in-law is back there, Amy. I'll turn the camera around. Oh, no, maybe I won't. Anyway, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so it has a place up in Sonora. So we picked up these slabs, and Ryan has now has a great source for some redwood slabs, and he also has um, what? Beetle kill pine? Beetle kill pine, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and so... The guy, they're just kind of throwaways <laughs> for him because he does furniture, so he's giving me a killer, killer deal. Yeah. So I'm pretty stoked about that. So we're actually, we bought these. Vicky, well, not we. Vicky bought yeah, these. Mom, she wants mom. to make more tables. So we've got, what, five of them. Yeah. We got five of them. We're taking back to uh, to Arizona with us. So the car will smell like Redwood. Anyway, they're really, really cool. Nice and flat. Anyway, so that's that. Got a killer deal. on what, what did she pay for those? I think. I can't remember. I want to 30, say, or like, 40 30 or 40 bucks a piece. piece. Yeah, yeah, 30 or 40 bucks a piece. Um... So uh, remember, tomorrow night is the giveaway. So Vicky wanted me to be sure and remind you, she's over, still over at her mom's house uh, with her sister. She wanted me to remind you guys, till midnight tonight, you guys can keep entering. Uh, if you haven't entered, it's only one per deal. Send Vicky an email that you want to be part of the giveaway. We're going to give away that Christmas sign tomorrow night. And make sure you put your name. Yeah, put your name. Um, so send Vicky an email, Vicky with Dave signs at gmail.com and uh, she will get you entered into the giveaway and then we're gonna she's gonna figure out how to do it tomorrow night. So we'll be doing that live. I may be doing a live earlier in the day tomorrow to kind of show you Ryan's trailer that we're gonna be going out again on Saturday and we tried to do a live on site at the event that we had last Saturday, but um, we weren't getting a good signal, so I'm gonna get a video of it. We're gonna try and do a live again out there. So um, that is, uh, gosh, that's about it. Now, um, Ryan's actually, Ryan and his lovely assistant are gonna do an actual um, whitewash uh, deal, which is really, really popular. You guys have been getting a lot of requests. Quite a few requests for for, yeah. uh, for the whitewash thing. So. Um, without further ado, I'm going to come behind the camera and Ryan's going to show his part of it and then Amy's going to come in and you're going to see her hands do magic. It is amazing. Super you guys, impressive. You guys will Crazy. be You guys will be amazed. So, uh, let me see here. So, let's There's Ryan's the sign that Ryan did. Oh. Here, I can hold it up, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, basically, uh, I carved this just like normal, laid it out um, carved it, sprayed it, sanded everything. And then I put a 
dark walnut stain. I'm using this uh, Minwax, I don't know if you guys can see that. Minwax dark walnut. And you can see it's a little bit splotchy, but that kind of just adds to the, the rustic look once it's done whitewashed. Um, the main thing is just make sure you get the edges pretty dark uh, because that's what people like to see when you whitewash. They want to see the dark edges. So, um, and now I have done the whitewashing, but my beautiful wife is so much better at it than I am. So she is going to give you guys a demo. Yes. All right. So this is uh, what this is pine, right? Yeah. This is the the ply the project the, board. The, pine. Yeah, panel board. Panel board. Yeah. From Lowe's or Home Depot or yeah. one of those. Yeah. So. Um, and then what? We How used, long ago did you put the stain on? I put the stain on maybe a half hour ago. Okay, so it has to sit for a little while. Yeah. Not yeah. too long. I'm gonna move the camera a little closer, guys, so you can really see what's going on here. There we go, now we're right down on there. So uh, basically what it is with what this concoction is, is it's um, just half white paint and half water. You can mess with the ratio to see if it's a little too runny for you. That's what we like to do. And so now my bride is gonna come and do this. And this is, um, so it's obviously water-based. Uh, water-based latex paint like house paint yeah or what kind yeah of... just standard house paint it's, okay yeah it has latex uh, indoor paint but it's latex, not a... like like it's a house paint yeah for the but wall. no semi-gloss so right. it's flat yes just flat uh, whatever that can is right there right yeah I believe can. that's flat you might want to okay. double check so these are the magic hands that they were talking about Ooh, ooh. <laughs> okay okay so first thing we do is I take my little trusty brush. Here, move it more close to you. Closer. I'm to sorry. Me. Yeah, because I can't take the try. Oh, there, okay. perfect, perfect, okay. perfect. Yeah. So this is obviously a lot easier to do on this size sign because when we were doing what was it, the seven by twenty four. Twenty four, and you have a fancy font, it makes it a lot difficult or more difficult. So I just kind of put. That's okay if you get the little splatters in there. So just a little note, if they get into the black like that, <clears throat> we just use a paintbrush with the spray. With the primer yeah, with spray. the primer. And put spray a little in the cap, put your brush in it, and then you can touch up after it's done. Oh. Yeah. So, okay, that's so good. You know. So, and I just use this rag. It's 100% cotton. I don't know if that really matters. but And I just kind of go like this. <clears throat> and usually I put like three... To four coats on depending on how white people want it because with the stain it makes it a little gray and it's okay if you go super fast you can go over the lettering huh and it really I've never seen this done for folks I'm learning just like you are interesting so I don't know if you guys ever get um, uh, if you ever get requests for doing a whitewash but it's real popular these days you just have to be careful because it will splash because of all the water in it. And then making sure that there's not lines. What do you mean li uh, oh, lines? Like brush with, marks? Yeah, brush marks, of? lines, because then you can kind of tell. So you just, you obviously have to baby it a little bit, but not so much when you're rubbing it in with the uh, rag, if that makes sense. Yeah. The, the real trick is not to let it puddle and then pour into the lettering. That's when right. it gets kind of irritating to touch up. But it's not too bad. It's really actually easy to do with the paintbrush, with the little paintbrush when you're doing your touch-ups. So again, you're just gonna go over it with your rag. Huh. obviously takes a little bit and again this is a bigger sign so it's you can even touch so it. you just go until where it is it looks the way you want it to look exactly right? yeah just keep if doing you want it. a whole bunch then you just keep going if not if you want just a a little bit it becomes kind of whatever you want or whatever the customer wants I guess right and again it's just it a process so it takes yeah. time Hmm. And you just keep going over it. Pretty cool. Yeah, it turns out 
really, really nice once they're all done. I did a big one for a lady in Texas, and that's the first one we did, and uh, she, she loved it. Now, have you tried it with a sponge yet? Rather yeah, than a brush? it absorbs it... a little bit too much because for some reason, I think because those little sponge sticks, are they're just so porous. Oh, really? Yeah, so... So then it tends to puddle more than Right, than and then you should. kind of get like blobs, as ah, in, like in spots. interesting. Yeah, That's so I mean, this works for am. us, but you know, yeah. somebody might find a better way of doing it. I don't know, but this is just what we found that works good for us. Hmm. Sorry guys, I can't, I wish I could see uh, your. Uh, okay, it's alright. I can see there's a lot of comments and stuff on there, but I can't read them. And again, <laughs> like the big white right there in the F oh, yeah. that Ryan just freaked out about, totally fixable with a paintbrush. Yeah. So now do you uh, kind of get that out of there with a, like a Q-tip? I get, yeah, I get a Q. Yes, I get oh, a Q-tip. Yes, we do. And I just kind of right. circle it and what just a great get out. Idea. That yeah. is a great idea. I get a Q-tip and I just if it's really a big blob like that, yeah. just you know get it out real quick and then. Where's your Q-tip, sir? Uh, yeah, please. Because you really can't use the paintbrush over this, or else then you're just gonna have the white right. globs everywhere. It actually looks kind of fun. Yeah, it's, and you know, you can get creative with it. And like I said, the, you know, some people like the, a lot of the white wash to where you almost can't see the wood. And, but a lot of the request has been to keep the edges a little bit um, with the wood color, with the stain. Right. Yeah, it's kind of a fun little thing yeah. to play around with. You can be creative. Right. There is no kind of right or wrong. No. It's just kind of whatever you want. And I am so not a crafty person, so to me, this is just exhilarating. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's pretty pretty cool look. It almost kind of has that chalky look. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, you like my hands? I yeah. Do. My darling husband is freaking out about the. Uh... I'm not freaking out. Okay. You just got to get most of it out, and then you can go over it with your right black. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. And your matter. paintbrush. Because it probably will dry fairly fast. Right. So once it's dry, then you can just go in there with your touch up. Right, and it's just you know the motion of how you're doing your hand because it's. I, for some reason, it's just the way that it works. It just goes right over the letters. Yeah. So very, you'll just have a little teeny, teeny bit of Right on the white. edges of yes. the letters. Just a little, yeah. but nothing that you can't fix. Yeah. And then as you go, you can add a little more. Really makes it gray, huh? Now, have you tried yeah. it without stain underneath? Not with a pine because it's such a white board. It, it won't made give it, it look contrast. kind of, yeah. So it you did. have tried it and you just didn't like the way it looked? It was like too, um, I can't remember what's the word, because we did try it without the stain and we tried multiple stains and then it made it look like orange and red and then we tried it with just the bare wood. Yeah. And I think it was only, um, what was, I don't. This is walnut. This is like dark walnut dark stain. Dark walnut yes. stain, yeah. We tried with a. Uh, what was it? Gunstock. Oh, it was gunstock. We yeah. tried with, and it gave it a weird orange color. It didn't. Really? Didn't. But the reason why we use the stain is because this particular look, the shabby chic modern like chalky look, yeah. we couldn't seem to get it with the color wood that he had. So uh -huh. using the stain really kind of put it to where it gave it that old vintage look. Yeah. And I I haven't tried it yet, but I have a theory that instead of sanding it all off after you carve it and yeah. you spray it, you might be able to just whitewash over that, but I, I If you left some of the black on if there. you left a lot of the black on there, right. yeah. Right. I haven't tried it yet. Gotcha. Do we want to do the paintbrush? The black? Not touch yet. Up? 
Oh, okay. oh to, to, ah, you can or not, but it might take a, oh, a little while for that stuff to dry. Oh, I don't know. Right. We probably it doesn't really matter. That stuff it, to it dry. works out. Do you have a paintbrush or? I do. And then let's just say that this is the final layer, so to speak. So, you know, because, guys, I've got this camera pointing straight down, I know some people are making comments and stuff. Um, so if, they're, if you're asking specific questions, unfortunately, I can't see them. But you can always send me emails. Um, and then after this thing gets posted, I'll go in and look at the comments. And uh, uh, I'll answer everything that I can. Um, but we will be uh, doing a live tomorrow night and that will be with Vicki so if you have questions uh, that I don't get to uh, you can save them for tomorrow and uh, we'll definitely answer them on tomorrow's live I may be two and two of them tomorrow one of them showing Ryan's trailer and then the other one will be doing the giveaway later on and that giveaway will be at uh, uh, kind of the same time like six o'clock Pacific time Six o'clock in the evening Pacific time. So this is just how we do the black with a little pointed, uh, little art brush, nothing fancy. And this is the primer. You just yeah. sprayed yep, that, just yeah, the spr the yeah, just sprayed just that the primer. primer in the cup, right? Yep. And then you just very carefully. Look at that. This is why Amy's so much better at it than I am. Well, I wouldn't say that, but. I would. I would, yeah, definitely. And again, because it's kind of weathered, old, distressed right. look, it doesn't have to be perfection. No. And that's the look that people like is because no one sign is going to be the same. Yeah. So. So it doesn't have to be perfection. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Just a quick little touch up. Careful, you're getting close to getting your head on camera there. I don't know. I don't want to you were scare trying to anybody. avoid that. <laughs> yeah, so anybody out there, if they have a smoking hot wife that can help with this kind of stuff, I highly recommend it. <laughs> and again, I'm not a crafty person. Well, but I think you're turning in. I just, I'm, I'm very analytical and I like to pay attention to detail. It's yes. a woman thing. It's a. So how did you guys learn to do this? Uh, trial and error. Trial and error. Pretty much, yeah. Pretty much. Any Ryan research? Getting, uh, yes. A uh, little bit yes. of research yeah, I about the up paint ratio. On, on YouTube and stuff? I did yeah. lots of uh, uh, tutorial videos on YouTube. Yeah. On whitewash, the proper way, different ways of doing different types of wood. And that's how we kind of figured out the stain and whatnot, depending on the style or the yeah. type of wood. And What yeah. was really concerning me, though, is I thought that I was going to have to carve it and whitewash the whole thing and then page, paint each letter individually. Right. And I figured, you know what? That uh, work smart, not hard. Yeah, that's right. So now it's a matter of how much you really want to touch up. Exactly. You exactly. Could, you could exactly. go crazy and do it all, yeah, but just, I just pretty much pay attention to like the bigger the spots, bigger spots. Right. Yeah, yeah. Just you know, for time's sake and whatnot. You want it to have that weather distressed look, so exactly. Yeah. yeah. And you yeah. just you know by looking Looks at good. it, you don't want to. And then just a little right there too. You know, but the brush is getting a little. Getting stiff? Uh, it kind of gets a little like. Frayed? Yeah. And if you don't pay attention, then you're going to get it on your. Yeah. I mean, honestly, surface. that's small. Nobody's really going to see it but you, but. Or myself. <laughs> if they get a customer that's like you, babe. <laughs> I know what I like as a consumer, so. Perfection. No, not perfection. The whole point of wood signs is none of them are the same, and having somebody carve it, what you know. Very well put, Amy. Okay, so. Okay, there it is. So right. turn it around. Let's take a look. See what it looks I'm like. A uh, couple of spots. Just oh. right there. hold on. Sorry. Sorry. Perfection. Yeah. Perfection. Hey. This could go on. Oh, somebody's. 
Okay. Phone is going off. Awesome so, job. Buddy. Obviously, I kind of shortened it up a little bit, but then we spray it with the gloss. Then you put clear on top. Yeah. 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 So that's the finished product right there. Just about. We'll put a yeah. clear coat, maybe touch up another spot or two, but that's yeah. and you know people love this this whitewash distressed look. Pretty simple to do. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's a lot simpler than than what you we thought originally it thought be. it was going to yeah. be. Yeah. 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 Once you kind of figure it out. Good deal. All right, good job, you guys. All right, I'm hey. going to back this thing up. Bye, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Amy. <laughs> All right, so we, um, let's see. What else do we need to go over? I guess that's about it, guys. Um, thanks again to Amy. She did a great job on this, Ryan. And uh, you just carved this just a little while ago. Yeah, just, just about an hour ago. Mm -hmm. Anyway, this is a, a pretty weak, neat way to do it. Uh, I, may, I may play around with this a little bit. The whitewash thing, really, I haven't done like anything like that. I've done some distressed stuff, but I'm kind of curious to see if you did leave the black on. And I maybe you wouldn't. Maybe you wouldn't need the stain and just leave the black kind of half yeah. of the black on, and then try the whitewash but and see what if, would happen. I don't know if we can do that with a pine because it has the sanding seal yeah. on it. Yeah, but, but I, the sanding sealer is gone once you do your sanding. Remember? What? Well, uh, well, yeah, yeah. I, you have to play around with it. And see. Yeah. Anyway, guys, that is it. Thanks so much for joining us. Um, again, if questions on this, uh, just send me an email, Eric at MakeItWoodSign.com, um, and we will see you probably if everything goes right. We'll see you tomorrow afternoon. Ryan and I will do something with his trailer, kind of do a tour around his trailer, because I don't think you guys have seen it yet. And then tomorrow evening at 6 p.m., um, that's when Vicky will be here, and we'll do the giveaway, and um, you guys can ask a bunch of questions. We'll do a Q&A and a giveaway and that kind of stuff. So hope you guys are having a great week. Merry Christmas to everybody, and we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.